back to my page. This is Inquanta Cocksmith of www.inquantacocksmith.com. Smile for me. So I am back with five key tips for your journal business and today we will be going over keywords. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I drop a new video. So I'm super excited about this series, but also go over to my gumroad.com backslash inquantacocksmith to Get access to my courses and tutorials and some freebies. And I am available on my podcast, Coins and Connections, every Friday at 7 a.m. where all um, open podcast platforms and, you know, just click all the links in the damn description box. Okay, so we're going to talk about keywords, y'all. We're going to talk about these keywords. So first of all, I want to let you know that I use a few extensions, right? So I use... um. And this, all of them don't have to do with keywords, but I use the AMZ Suggestion uh, Expander, which is Amazon Suggestion Expander. I use keywords everywhere. Um, I use the DS Amazon Quick View. I use Amazon Keyword Tool. Of course, um, I told you about Tangent Template, and I think that's the main ones that I use, right? So... Quickly, um, also in Book Boat, you can search as well. But we're going to go over to Amazon and I'm going to show you what some of those extensions do. So, say we want to look for um, geometric anything. So, geometric is kind of popular. So, this is another niche. So, the ge geometric niche, right? I'm just going to type in geometric and Amazon is going to find all of these things for me, which will be a keyword, but will also lead me into a new niche that I may have not thought about. So we have geometric um, coloring books for adults, which is good for what mainly what we're talking about. Um, we have geometric iPhone cases, wallpaper, centerpieces, tapestry, forms of drawing, pillow, shirt, uh, set for kids, marble bedding. Um, but what I really want to look at, I want to look at things for like geometric crystals or manifestation geometric stuff. Okay. But we know that geometric is popular, right? So those are some key words. So let's see if they have, they have geometric journal. So we know that the geometric shape is good. So on Amazon, we're not coming up with a lot of stuff. We did get the, you know, the coloring book for adults. So we can take that and do something. Geometric coloring book for adults, right? We could get the geometric pillowcases. And geometric comes in different shapes and forms. So this is like, I love the geometric animals. So that's a whole different niche for itself. So you can create geometric Animals. So this one is a lion. So we're going to remember that because we're going to go over to another site. So we have geometric um, animals. I want to do something in a manifestation, but there's nothing on Amazon. So you have to build up that niche to be found and, and also do a little bit more research to see if people want it. But this is like geometric journals, right? <clears throat> so we're going to go on Redbubble. And you remember we had coloring books and then we saw that lion. So let's do geometric lion. So nothing popped up right away, but we're still going to type it in. So we're going to type in geometric lion. And there could be another word for it, but I think this pretty much sums it up. So, ooh, now you go into a different, a different niche. Geometric shapes with astrology. So now we got astrology. We just finding all these niches, but that could be your, your keyword. Geometric Leo set. So these are all these different lion, you know, geometric pictures here. So there's there's room for it, right? Also, I want to type in geometric crystals because I still want to do something with that uh, manifestation. And I know geometric shapes in general sells well. So here we typed in geometric um Crystals. And we see crystals here. See crystals on his shirt. 
see crystals here, here, some around a deer. So we see some on animals. We see some of the crystals with, you know, actual like manifestation stuff, law of attraction. So that's that's another, you know, geometric crystals. Now let's go over to Pinterest, right? Let's type in geometric lion. So these are some designs here. So we know people are kind of looking for it. So a whole bunch of different geometric shapes here. So um, that's a win. Now let's go back over to Amazon and let's type in that geometric lion. And right now my computer is trying to catch up. So let's go over to book book and let's type in geometric lion for journal. And let's see. So this takes a little while to load. Um, but why it's doing that, we're going to also go over here on a seller app and go in geometric lion. And this is the keyword, Amazon keyword tool. So this is, you choose the marketplace, I'm in the US, so of course I'm going to do .com, and then I'm going to hit generate keywords. So right now it's like a total one keyword, right? Book Bolt still isn't finished yet. Let's go back over to Amazon. Swear. The things I go through to create tutorials, y'all. So we have a few more. We have a geometric lion art, geometric lion decal, geometric lion hoodie, geometric lion head. So these are, you know, some keywords here that you can use for that geometric uh, niche for the lion. Book Bolt has one, so that you know, for journals, it's like 13. Uh, and let's check general. So, we're going to check geometric lion and then see what comes up in general for that. Um, but here, we I think this might still be going, but you see, but but seeing that they have curtains, wall art, you know, sculptures, this would be perfect on Redbubble, right? This would be perfect to join on Redbubble and create things tailored to that because on Redbubbles you can do wall art, you can you can do all of those things. So that's just examples of how you can take those keywords um, and use that for there. But look, you have all these other keywords too that you can use to get found. Um, there wasn't, let me see, this probably will keep going, but we'll see. And then also it shows you example, but I haven't seen one that's geometric actually um yet but that's the seller app finding the keywords there um you like when the sites finish off the words for you because it can actually lead you into a whole of new niches um for your business and then also you can add things together you can add we already add animals then we added the geometric shape right so say we people are looking for red geometric lions that's a whole sub niche by itself. People are looking for green geometric lions or are, are Leo, you know, geometric Leo shapes or Leo um, products. So 32 searches for geometric lion, lion in general. Um, not really seeing anything that's specific to geometric lions, more so puzzles, but that can give you an idea of doing an animal puzzle or a jigsaw thing. So I hope this kind of helps you guys to understand keywords and how keywords can basically 
help you to create more products, find more niches, and just be found in a lot of different categories. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them down below in the comment section. Again, I appreciate you for watching this video and I love you more than love this video. Peace.